ready and squat and stand. All right, cool. So was he able to keep his heels down? Posterior chain was active. All right, cool. Excellent. Ready and squat. Let's work up the chain and stand. What's happening to his knees? Yeah, you guys notice that his knees on the way down, they kind of go inward, right? So that's the first thing that I'm going to address because I see it as the biggest priority right now. All right. So ready and squat. I'm going to get hands on with him and actually try and guide. I'm not applying a lot of force and stand. I'm guiding his knee. Do you feel like that gentle pressure right there? It's kind of teaching you where to go. Am I pulling your knee out though? I'm not forcing him any direction. I'm making him aware of the position and that cues him to do the work on his own. I don't want to do the work for the athlete. All right, so let's get consistent with that. Ready and squat, push the knee out into my hand. There you go, and I'm working from the other side. And stand. What are you guys noticing about his feet the harder he pushes out his knees? Yeah, he kind of rolls too far back. We want balance, right? So I want you to keep your big toe pressed into the ground while you push your knee out. Ready and squat, keep your big toe down. Big toe, big toe, big toe, and stand. That's a little bit better. That was way better, yeah, absolutely. And now what I want him to do, right? Now he's developing consistency there. You guys, what do you notice about his back and his depth? He's going so low that he's starting to round. So I'm gonna get him just below parallel and stop him there. So we're gonna go slower, so listen to me, right? So big toe down, knee out into my hand, ready, squat, slow, 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 hold right there, stop right there. This is right above parallel. Get your big toe down on the ground, push your knee out, push your knee out, push your knee out. Hold, hold, you see how he naturally got a little bit lower? Hold, hold, push your knee out harder, get a, an inch lower, one inch, right there, hold. Put the hands up. Get into your toes a little bit more. Into your toes, away from my hand back here. Up and stand, right? So he's getting sucked back a little bit, right? So what do we need to do? We need to work on his balance, right? Eventually, I want him to be able to show me that what he just showed me without me having to apply pressure on his back. You see how you're kind of like leaning yeah. into my hand? So let's work on this a little bit more. Ready and squat. Stay away from my hand, stay away from my hand. Push your knee into this hand, good. And stand, much better, much better. All right, so this, this is him learning, he's rewiring. It's not that he physically can't do it, like he doesn't have the ability to do it, it's that he needs to learn. He needs practice with the air squat, all right? So here we go, let's do a couple more on your own and without my assistance, let's see if he's getting better. Ready and squat. And stand, is that better than the first couple reps that he showed us in the, in the beginning? What are you doing differently? What are you focused on? The feet, exactly, the foundation of the squat. And so once this becomes consistent, what do you think I'm gonna to start to address? Yeah, then I'll start to nitpick on the, on the torso and all that other stuff, but I wanna build from the ground up, right? So ready, and squat. Heck yeah, knees are out, much better tracking, and stand. Knees are tracking much better, is it perfect? No, but he's made a ton of progress in a short amount of time, and then that last 10% is probably something that we're gonna really have to build over time. Right? At the same time, I'm gonna be addressing the hands up and keeping the back nice and flat. Do you feel different? Yeah. Perfect, that's what I want. Nice job.